measurements of the Mesopotamian basin show that radioactivity levels remain high. And with the oil fields in Arabia still burning, the world total reserves of petroleum have dropped even lower, making gasoline all but unobtainable except for governmental agencies. Food riots have continued into the third day, and martial law was declared for all of Greater Detroit. Army units and the National Guard have been called in to restore order. And the military commander for Michigan... ...will be shot on sight. The migration into the countryside continues. And once peaceful rural areas have become a battlefield, as roaming bands of what can only be called bandits raid farming communities for well-hidden supplies of fuel, as well as food and ammunition. The most notorious of these groups is led by the renegade army colonel Jacob Bruger, who travels in a heavily armored vehicle and has so far eluded all attempts at capture. With most of the law enforcement agencies fully committed to the cities, it looks like his mobile reign of terror will continue for some time. What's that noise? It's just the wind. No, I can hear something. Imagination.
Morning. Morning. Where'd you boys get all this stuff? Oh, we just... Driving along, we saw these drums on the side of the road. Someone, someone must have left them there. We just... I'll take you there, no problem. I know where it is, sir. I'll take you there. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Where's he taking us? This place is radioactive! It's okay. The signs are only there to keep people away. Keep on going. Open the gate, Bone. I'm not going in there. It's dangerous! Open, Open the, the gate. gate. Sorry when your skin turns green and your teeth fall out. Just drive the truck. A diesel, understand? It's in the other quarry, round the back. I'm telling you the truth, honest. I'm not wrong. Oh, that's good. Uh, uh, if you were lying, then I'd have to give you to Willie. He has a few games he likes to play. They work real good on dogs. But dogs don't have nothing to confess. I'll show you. It's the truth, I promise. I promise. There's nothing here. I'm gonna kill him! You heard the boss, he's mine! If there's anything left to kill, you can have. Knock it off. Where is it? Out there. It's underground, I'll show you. It's not booby trapped, is it? Oh, no. Huh? <laughs> no way. Good, then you show me. <laughs> Get off with me.
your 50,000 liters, sir. I like this place. We could stay here for a long time. Set up camp. Oh, Bone? Sir? Distribute some homebrew to the men. They earned it. Sir. Hey, set up camp! Yes, Willie. Him, boss? Bring the girl. How long you boys known about this place? My old man was a quartermaster. When the government collapsed, we sort of inherited it. <laughs> you were very lucky, weren't you? Oh, yeah. For a while. Well, what do you mean? Time up. What? Ah! Hey, wait a minute! Gag him. Carly, you're getting old enough to take a little responsibility. Now, this man is a liability to us for various reasons. Do you understand? Good. So I want you to do something. Great base camp. Yes, but we're in a valley, so I want complete perimeter protection. Set up a field of fire along this ridge. Automatic weapons here, here, here. Sentries outside the gate, inside the gate. 500 yards up the road, you have lookouts. Your patrols leave through this gully, through the high country, returning here every four hours. Mm. And most important, I want two men guarding that fuel module around the clock. Yeah, well, it all belongs to us now. Of course, Bone. It was inevitable. The generals were just too chicken shit to make a decision. Wars are not won by men of political ambition, my friend. There's too much lipstick and not enough napalm. <laughs> Thank you. 
Watch yourself. Leave me alone, Willie! We gotta get him. Come on. Come on, you guys. Who were those guys? I don't know. I was looking for food and they came up over the ridge. You got people around here? Family? Friends? Anybody? No. Oh, my daddy died. And then my horse ran off with all my stuff. Have you got any food? Get on. Suit yourself. Give me that hose, will you? What is it? Methane. Make it out of chicken shit. Don't you ever get lonely up here? Don't care much for people. Did you fight in the wars? Yep. Bet you nobody ever bothers you up here. Nope. Oh. Come on, I better have a look at that lag. No, I'll be all right. Oh. Maybe. Gotta watch every scratch out here. Never know what it might turn into. Most things get better if you give them the time. Not gangrene. That bad, huh? I'll be more careful. What's your father like? Oh, he was a saint. Everybody loved him. We'd travel around and help people fix things. This is gonna hurt some. Oh. And 
Then one morning, he just didn't wake up. So I kept on going. That's what he would have wanted, I guess. We gotta go. Why? Because it needs sewing up. Take you down to Clearwater Farm. They got a healer there. Medicine. But I feel much better. Come on. Wait. Let me stay here a while. I can take care of the chickens. I'm a hard worker. Not lately. Yeah, but I can if you give me the chance. You need people. I don't. OK. This is it. Just knock on the gate and ask for Rusty. You're not coming in with me. It's not my kind of place. Well, goodbye. Thank you for saving my life. to show him that new short wave I've been working on. Picked up a signal from Radio Mecca. Well, prayers, mostly. Damn. Oh, that's... my name's Rusty. I'm Corley. Hunter told me to ask for you. Oh, you're looking to join, are you? Yes. Good. Good. Uh, well, come on in. I'll show you around. Hunter's brought us some of our best people. He, he sure gets around a lot. Yeah, we're always short-handed here, even in the winter. But there's plenty to eat if uh, you like turnips. It's uh, strict democracy. A little old-fashioned, but it seems to work. Well, that's my workshop right over there. Over there, that's the uh, main dome hall. That's where you'll be sleeping until we can fix you up a place of your own. Well, that is if they vote to let you in. But that shouldn't be too much of a problem, because women are, uh, we have a lot of bachelors. You single? Yeah, very. Good, good. Well, don't, uh, just be really nice to everybody, but not too nice to any one person until after the vote, if you get my drift. OK. Rusty, where are you taking her? Uh, this is Corley. I'm just you showing her. You should be carrying her with a wound like that. Wound? Come on, honey. Don't you worry. I'll have you fixed up right as well. There was no doubt that it was a perfect fit. And then, before the two ugly sisters could show their surprise, Cinderella's fairy godmother appeared before them. And with a wave of her magic wand, she changed Cinderella's ragged dress into a gown of golden silk, which made the ugly sisters gasp in jealous anger. Go now, the fairy said to Cinderella. The coach outside will carry you to your prince. So Cinderella found true happiness at last with her prince. And the very next day, they were married and lived happily ever afterwards. The end. Thank you. It's lovely. Where did you get it? It was a present. Here. No, not good. I want you to have it. Okay? Thank you. Okay, everybody, can we start this meeting? As you all know, Hunter has brought us someone new. 
And I think you've all had a chance to meet Corley. Are there any questions? I've got a question about Hunter. You said you went to his place. Where is it? I don't know the area. I was only there for a few minutes. I think we should respect Hunter's privacy. I've been there. Corley's been there. I just don't see the point. If it came down to him or us, whose side would you be on? That's out of order, Judd. It will never come to that. Now, all those in favor of taking Corley in. Fine. It's unanimous. Welcome to Clearwater, Corley. Thank you. I promise I'll work very hard. Congratulations. Thank you. Good to have you with us. Well done. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Hi, Corley. Hello. How are you feeling? Very well. So, would you like to take a walk tonight? Maybe. It's just that there's a full moon. We could take a walk up the canyon and watch it rise through the double peaks. Well, if I'm not too tired, maybe. Okay, great. I'll see you later. <laughs> You shouldn't discourage him. Doesn't look like he discourages too easily. <laughs> How are your hands now? Oh, it's still a little sore. Where you came from, didn't you do any work? Not this kind of work. So how did you live? Differently. Charlene, I... Coley? Coley, what's wrong? Hey. Everyone back to the village! It's just a stranger. It's probably nothing. But it doesn't hurt to be careful. Do you know what this is? Leave her alone. I said, do you know who this is? Look at her. She recognized it right off. Just forget it. Come on, Coley. Stop! They'll just 
shoot you! Come out. Come outside where I can see you. Everyone, throw down your weapons and put your hands on your head. Move. Move. come to free you from this anarchy and chaos. Under my leadership, you will relearn the arts of discipline and excellence. Nothing less will be acceptable. So, you can plant your taters, you can grow your sweet corn. But you will do this at the direction of, and for the purposes of your leader. This ain't no democracy, kiddies. Who's in charge here? Hey, wait a minute. You can't come in. Who's in charge here? We all were. Kind of a democracy. Bone. Sir. Detail the men to inventory and requisition. Yes, sir. Hey, Willie. Bone. Inventory and requisition. Loot! Loot! I'm taking your weapons, ammunition, medicine. Any furs, precious metals. A sewing machine if you have one, and half your food. We're gonna need that for the winter! Don't mumble when the man's talking. I will not abide disrespect. Oh, by the way, where do you keep the women? In the dome, behind you. Please let the children go. Stand up! You. Take the children to a different building. the women now. All of them? Well, now, ladies, shall we join the, uh, gentlemen? <laughs> <laughs> the gentlemen? <laughs> Have you been, uh, harboring a girl named Corley? Yeah, we tried to kick her out. 
But everybody here is afraid of the guy that brought her here. Where is she? Well, if she isn't here, she must have run back to him. That guy, Hunter. How do I find this Hunter? It's up in the mountains somewhere. No, Bones. <coughs> Easy. Thanks. I'll tell you who knows. Rusty. He and Hunter are as thick as... They're good buddies. I must have a talk with this Rusty. Bone? Clearwater? What good would have that done? Nobody can stand up against them. There's always a way to fight back. <gasps> Anybody follow you here? Oh, no. Okay. Come on. You stay here tonight. In the morning, I'll go out and scout around. about who gets more. It has to change. It's been that way for thousands of years. But it must change.
We've got half a minute to save our ass. You know how to use this? Yeah. Use it when the time comes. I'll be back. Hunter, this is Straker. Send the girl out and you will not be harmed. That sucker isn't gonna live here anymore. Get in. He always leaves a garrison behind. Yeah, he's a real pro. What 
you to do this. I looked through them. That'll teach me not to loan out my binoculars. Oh. Why didn't you tell us the truth? I couldn't. Five good men died because of you. Maybe Strike will go easy on us if we send her back. That's it. We'll send her back. You're not sending anybody anywhere. Hey, Jack. We can't sacrifice the whole community for one person. He would have come here anyway, but if you don't want me here, I'll go. Wait a minute. You're not going anywhere. You people better make up your minds what you're going to do. I know what I'm going to do. I thought they'd killed you. Well, we got a couple of them instead. I, I told them where to find you. I know. You were the only one who knew. Well, they, uh, they took my hand and put... I just wanted the pain to stop. Forget it, Rusty. I know torture. Nobody holds out. You could have. No. I'd have done the same thing you did. Maybe, maybe not. No blame. Understand? No blame. I'm gonna need your help. You're gonna have to make me some kind of light armored vehicle. Can you still make explosives? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I got some sulfuric left, and I can make a still for the nitric. My hand. Use mine. I've been watching real close. I can do all your stuff. You always said I had good hands. All right. All right. Follow me. Take this manifold in the shop. Speak it down, Alvin. Paulie, grab a hold of it. Here, take this spring, too. Come on, Hunter, grab that spring. Let's go. I think I've got some bulletproof glass around.
been thinking. Yeah? You're right. We gotta fight. I'd like to help you if you have me. There's plenty to do. We've been right through that area. Nobody's been in there for years. Motorcycles don't grow wings and fly away. I want you to find him. Hey, boss! Caught these dirty just trying to sneak up on us. What are you boys up to? We live around here. What's it to you? Well, that's fair enough. Shoot him. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> He's only joking. I'll have you. Go on home. Son of a bitch. You sure it's not damp? It's not damp. I hope you're right. Those Kinsey firing pins are pretty unpredictable. I got it. Knock in case you were asleep. I hope it didn't frighten you. No, it's just that I thought you were Hunter. He should be back any minute. Yeah. He's been working like a dog. We all have. Would you like a cup of tea? No, thanks. I came to apologize. I'm ashamed about the way I acted. Can you forgive me? I suppose so. And maybe I will have that cup of tea. I used to have such a different life. We all did, before it all fell apart. If I'd only met you then, we might have really had something. Bastard! Oh, save the bird! 
Give me that! She's alive. Judd took her in the truck board. How long ago? Hours. Finished business to take care of. I guess that's the last we'll see of him. Take it easy. I've come to see Straker. Oh, yeah. I got a little surprise. Open the gates. Clearwater. 
So what does my little bird have to tell me today? I thought you'd like to know. Hunter is dead. <laughs> is that right? So? Well, he tried to stop me when I was bringing you a little gift. Sir? Just let her go. She's more trouble than a. Let me see. Sorry, sir. <laughs> you know you're a, you're a very clever fellow. You know that. I'm awfully tired of smelling manure. Yeah. Well, I can understand that. You know, my mind is wasted on those people. Let's go in here. I want to tell you, I have some plans. Some great plans. Why have you done this for me? I knew you'd appreciate it. Right. Oh. How'd you get the scratches on your face? She resisted. How dare you touch her? Oh. If you ever so much as even think you're gonna look at her, I'm gonna cut you in little pieces and feed you to yourself. Do you hear me? I promise, I promise. Let go of me. You want to join my little band, huh? Welcome to the club. I know I hit him. I saw him fall right there. Nothing near now, mate. Do I kill him, boss? He rolled all the way down that hill. He was dead, I'm telling you. Come on, handsome. Did this? It's large. Hang on. Intercept it. Isn't there any alcohol left? No, they took it all and the sulfur powder. All we've got left is creek water. We might fight off the infection in a week or two, but no. 
I gotta be on my feet tomorrow. They'll be after me. They might come here. I can cure arthritis and boils, but this is a deep septic wound. Cauterize it. Maybe it'll heal by itself. No, Alvin. He's right. I'll never stay with you. You can't own me. To kill me or let me go. Your beauty is from your mother. But your fire and your passion, those are from me. I can't stay with you. You know that. No, I don't. Hunter will kill you. Don't be a child. I wish I could kill you. We love to kill, so we kill what we love. Is that it? No. Or are we mere images, you and I? My blood, my inheritor, my immortality. I don't know anymore. I believe you lost this, Princess. How do you feel this morning? Will it be ready to roll? Well, uh, we need some time for some tests. How soon before the engine runs? A couple hours at least. Uh, just get it running. I'll test it. Hunter. Well, you're crazy. You've lost a lot of blood, you know. Just get that engine running, OK? The automatic choke is shot, so I put it in a manual But one. the methane heats up pretty quick. Now, the tack's not calibrated, so do your RPMs by ear. I know how to drive. Just be there when I need you. Oh, we'll be there. Don't you worry about us. You just make sure you're there. Now, be there. together.
Come on, that truck! We're straight up! Turbine, keep rolling. He'll come back for me and he'll beat you because he's better. Over my dead body.
rocket launcher. Your wounds are. Lay up, it's coming. Get that other rocket. Bike against that truck. Whatever it takes. Uh, He's taking the turn off. I guess that's the end of Clearwater. <laughs>
Goodbye, my friend. Thanks. Look after yourself. I really thought you'd stay. I'll be back. When? Sometime. There's nothing here, sir. Oh, listen. I'm sick of burning garbage in my truck. It gums up my turbines. I want that diesel. Understand? It's in the other quarry, round the back. I'm telling you the truth, honest. I'm not wrong. Oh, that's good. Uh, uh. If you were lying, then I'd have to give you to Willie. He has a few games he likes to play. They work real good on dogs. But dogs don't have nothing they can fear. I'll show you. It's the truth, I promise. I promise. Nothing here. I'm gonna kill him! You heard the boss, he's mine! If there's anything left to kill, you can have. Knock it off. Where is it? Out there. It's underground, I'll show you. It's not booby trapped, is it? Oh no. Huh? <laughs> no way. Good, then you show me. <laughs> Get off with me.
I got 50,000 liters, sir. I like this place. We could stay here for a long time. Set up, Camp. Oh, Bone? Sir? Distribute some homebrew to the men. They earned it. Sir. Hey, set up, Camp! Yes, Willie. Him, boss? Bring the girl. How long you boys known about this place? My old man was a quartermaster.
Hey, where's he taking us? This place is radioactive. It's okay. The signs are only there to keep people away. Keep on going. Open the gate, Bone. I'm not going in there. It's dangerous. Open, Open the, the gate. gate. Sorry when your skin turns green and your teeth fall out. Just drive the truck. What's that noise? It's just the wind. No, I can hear something. Imagination. Morning. Morning. Where'd you boys get all this stuff? Oh, we just driving along. We saw these drums on the side of the road. Someone, someone must have left them there. We just. <laughs> I'll take you there, no problem. I know where it is, sir. I'll take you there. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. When the government collapsed, we sort of inherited it. <laughs> you were very lucky, weren't you? Oh, yeah. For a while. Well, what do you mean? Time up. What? Ah! Hey, wait a minute! Gag him. Corley, you're getting old enough to take a little responsibility. 
Now, this man is a liability to us for various reasons. Do you understand? Good. So I want you to do something. Great base camp. Yes, but we're in a valley, so I want complete perimeter protection. Set up a field of fire along this ridge. Automatic weapons here, here, here. Sentries outside the gate, inside the gate. 500 yards up the road, you have lookouts. Your patrols leave through this gully, through the high country, returning here every four hours. Mm. And most important, I want two men guarding that fuel module around the clock. Yeah, well, it all belongs to us now. Of course, Bone. It was inevitable. The generals were just too chicken shit to make a decision. Wars are not won by men of political ambition, my friend. There's too much lipstick and not enough napalm. <laughs>